everyone. Uh, thank you so much for you know all your support. Uh, it's been wonderful. We are now at you know past the six thousand five hundred uh, uh, mark. You know, it's just wonderful knowing that um, you know every time there's a new lesson, we get new subscribers. It's all because of you guys. You know, for sharing. Uh, I want to thank you so much uh, because of you that you know people are learning out there and. Uh, it's just wonderful. So uh, this is the bonus lessons. Um, so the bonus lessons are, uh, I guess, a bit more interesting because a lot of people want to know more about YouTube. Um, so that's fantastic. Uh, so once again, thank you to everybody out there from Mexico and, um, you know, South Africa, Maldives, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, um, US, New York, California, wherever you guys are from, thank you so much. It's because of you. Um, you know, I keep going and going and going. So once again, thank you so much. Welcome to Learning with Lenny. We are at bonus lesson number 21. Um, so the bonus lessons are uh, more interesting because it's on YouTube. So I really try my best to learn a lot more so that the message I pass across makes sense. I can help you out and especially for you guys who are starting off with YouTube, I really hope that this helps you out, okay? So um, my topic for today for the bonus lesson is how do you beat, okay, how to beat uh, the YouTube algorithm in 2022. So as you know, uh, if you actually have YouTube, uh, if you have your own channel and things like that, right, there is an algorithm to this and um, in order for you to um, set the right pace, uh, you got to know a little bit about how this algorithm works and what you can do to improve uh, yourself and your videos uh, because that is what is going to help you to uh, grow your channel at the end of the day. So the first thing here, um, you got to optimize videos okay, for YouTube algorithms. So the videos you make, uh, it's got to be interesting, it's got to be uh, specific on topics. Uh, it's got to be things that people are going to watch because uh, that's how you're going to capture your audience as well because uh, YouTube's algorithm will see what kind of videos you make, what kind of contents you have uh, and from there it will be actually you know um, out you know to the relevant audience. So it's really important for you to optimize your videos and make it uh, specific to something, have a proper uh, direction, know where you know what kind of videos you want to start or what you want to do. Uh, that's when you'll know, you know, what kind of audience you're going to get. So you can make sure that, you know, if you want to beat the algorithm, make interesting topics as well. Okay. Um, the second thing here is research your competitors on YouTube. So let's say, for example, um, I do motivational talks or uh, learning and things like that. So I got to know who is doing what. I got to see what they do uh, because I got to make my video my video okay and 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 it's as uh, interesting as that when you do a video uh, when you know your compare it's the same like selling cars or uh, any cars out there okay for example um, they have all kinds of cars but then they are luxury cars right so you know we cannot that is not your comp uh, if you are selling uh, car A and car B is a luxury car it's not a competition because that is a different uh, ball game altogether, right? So it's the same for what videos you do. You got to know if anybody else is doing videos like that. Sometimes it's good to know the competitors because that's how you also improve yourself, okay? Uh, the third thing here is doing YouTube keyword research. So um, when you run topics, for example, right, how to beat the YouTube algorithm uh, in 2022. So the main keywords here is uh, YouTube as well as algorithm and that's what people are going to key in right so um, it's really important that you know what keywords uh, are out there research those keywords use those keywords because that is what people are searching for so when people search it they, they it'll, it'll sort of uh, it, your video will sort of come up uh, it's just whether it's at the top or below the reason is because the top one is the most viewed ones and the ones that go uh, below that uh, it just goes by the views so You've got to make yours more interesting for it to be, be become the top as well. Okay. Um, number four here is use long tail keywords as YouTube tags. So this is what long tail keywords means. It means that use as much words as possible, but in a proper uh, tag. So, um, for example, how to beat. 
that is already uh, uh, a long tail okay how to beat the youtube algorithm that's another long tail how to beat the youtube algorithm in 2022 so then it'll also come out 2021 2020 and things like that right so you keep using these keywords make those keywords as long and and make make sure that people are keying in this because everybody wants to know how do i um how do i buy a porsche for example that's what's going to come out or Porsche is going to come. So when when it's a long tail keyword, right, that means whatever, when you key in how, things will come down from YouTube, right? So that's that's how yours slowly will come in when you use more uh, long tail keywords, okay? And the last thing here is creating effective metadata, okay? So when you actually do your videos, make sure it is uh, short and sweet. Do not have videos that is going to go on for uh, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes because uh, people won't get, people will sort of uh, not be interested. It really depends on your content as well. Uh, but most videos after research that I've done and what I've been doing all this while is anything between 10 to 13 minutes. So make sure your videos are short and sweet and people are willing to stay on. So you will know this, uh, you'll see the algorithm, especially in the YouTube studios. Uh, in your YouTube studio, when you actually take a look at your videos, there are people who watch the video for probably two minutes, there are people who watch the video for probably five minutes, uh, and you know, there'll be drop offs as well. So, what you want to do is you want to entice people to stay for the 10 minutes, for the 13 minutes, and that's the exact time that is, you know, sweet, short, simple, people actually stick on it, okay? Make sure your title and description should match. So when I have this title here, my description is going to be about this. So when you read my description below, right, uh, what happens is it's basically telling you that, um, you know, what is the algorithm all about and uh, what can you do to change, uh, to change it, to help you. Uh, to make you uh, make your videos be uh, uh, you know better so make sure that your title and your descriptions match okay it'll take time trust me because when i first first did it i didn't even have a description okay when i used to first do my videos as well okay um, and try to be unique so try to be different from others do things differently so as far as i've seen a lot of videos out there um, is basically um, you know when you see anybody talk uh, it's it's not in point form. It'll be basically taking the laptop, showing you what to do, how to do it, and things like that. So mine is a little bit unique. I do something different where I actually give you points so that hopefully, you know, if you actually uh, view this video again and again and again, the points will be there. Or you can take it down and you can actually know what to do. Uh, and you can start thinking about how your journey is going to be as well. So make sure that, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you've got to be unique. You've got to be different. You've got to be uh, yourself, okay? And that's what's going to help you to grow and most importantly is how it's going to help you to uh, get the algorithm working for you okay so when youtube algorithm works for you your videos are going to go out there people are going to get to know those videos uh, they're going to like it they're going to share it and that's what's going to help you out okay you want people to know and people to view so that's how you beat um, the youtube algorithm for 2022 okay so i hope this helps you guys uh, if it does please give me a like share it out share it to everybody who needs it uh, share it to everybody who wants to see it everybody who wants to be a youtuber uh, because at the end of the day if you want to influence if you want to be an influencer or you want to be uh, a youtuber part of the youtube program you've got to be able to do something that is uh, going to be helping uh, people out there as well okay so uh, once again thank you so much i hope this helps you uh, like share comment and most importantly is subscribe okay so um, once again um, please help me to share it out and 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 let's have let's try to hit the 7000 as soon as possible um, and from there go on to more to really get you know um, a lot more lessons out there so people can actually learn from it as well so once again thank you so much uh, all over the world uh, i will see you in the next lesson